Tomorrow is National Cat Day, and for all of you out there with cats that can sometimes drive you crazy, or maybe you have questions why they act the way they do, our next guest is going to have some answers for you. Oh yeah, she is specialized in training cats and also teaches people how to tame at home. Take a listen. Je cat, cute, cuddly, and sometimes ferocious. But patience for cats, patience Fisher is not only an associate certified cat behavioral consultant, she is a public scholar on the behavioral patterns of cats. With patience in a short time, your cat will not only improve his social skills, but come when girl, nobody when nails go clippy clippy, and most importantly, no pee on the sofa. Because at patience for cats, Patience Fisher does not believe in such a thing as a bad kitty, only a misunderstood one. <laughs> I want to talk like that. <laughs> I love incredible. it. <laughs> well, joining us now is Patience Fisher, as is an associate certified cat behavior consultant, so we'll check in with them later. But let's talk about cats. Why do they act the way they do? I mean, what's a typical behavior of a cat? Well, cats, just like all of us, it's genetics and learning. Uh, the one thing with cats is their window of learning is uh, being very impressionable. It's very short from mm. two weeks when their eyes open till uh, four months old. So if it's harder to train them after that time period. Well, it's just their view of the world is different. Mm -hmm. So during that time period, if they grew up with children and dogs, their default when they meet new children and dogs is they're going to be good. If they haven't met children and dogs, they're going to be wary every time. So they might learn. And more importantly, if they haven't grown up with people, their default for people is going to be to be wary. So they might learn that one person is good and they're good with their owner, but they might be afraid of visitors. Mm -hmm. So how do you work with an older cat then to train them? Because it looks like you've done a fantastic job judging by your video. So how do you get those older cats on the right track? Well, you desensitize them to whatever it is that's, you know, they're afraid of. If they're afraid of a certain person in the house, then it's a short exposure with a reward. And you have to, before you do the training, find out what's rewarding to that cat. So we bring out the big guns. We don't just stick with the commercial treats. I mean, I've used bacon, shrimp. Um, <laughs> the big guns, Yeah, <laughs> the big guns, yeah. Well, I know with my sister's cat, Sebastian, he passed away Aww. last year, but um, he, he loved food and we, we would give him other treats, treats as well. Yeah. He loved peaceful food. <laughs> yeah, spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> well, I always have awesome. whatever we're using for training. I ask people not to use it for any other purpose. Yeah. So then they're more apt to um, to work for it. What is the the hardest problem you've encountered when trying to train a cat? Well, really, the hardest problem is having the people be patient enough. It's basically what I'm doing is behavior modification for aggression, um, and then you have to just go slow. You know. To Step. If you rush it, you can set yourself back. Now, other problems like litter box uh, problems. A lot of that is setting up the environment for right. mm -hmm. the cat. We have a really interesting picture to share with you. So, so this is of David Highfield's dad's cat who is drinking out of the sink. So, wh why would this possibly be happening? Is he just thirsty? He's or been asking, asking about this for right. a long time. Yeah. Sure. Well, it's an excellent example of something that's so fascinating about cats is they weren't domesticated as early as a lot of the animals we associate with. So they have a lot of their wild instincts about them. So in nature, running water is safer. So you naturally gravitate towards it, you know, the cat would. And also, if they're up there on the counter drinking, they have a better view of the world if something's sneaking up on them. Mm -hmm. and everyone thinks of cats as great hunters, but they're also prey animals. They've mm -hmm. evolved from little cats in Africa that were preyed upon by the African dogs and larger cats, so they're naturally cautious. Well, you have a big event tomorrow, right? Yes, Tell I us do. About it. Yes, I'm going to be talking about how to set your cat up for success to prevent unwanted feline behaviors, and it's at the Humane Animal Rescue on Hamilton Avenue at 6 o'clock. Tickets are available at the door, and they're only $5, so I hope people will come out and learn how to prevent a lot of the things I go in and fix for them. Okay, well, thank you so much, Patience, for joining us today. Oh, you're quite welcome.